Joseph was sharing his dream innocently, openly, transparently to his brothers, not knowing that they had issues with it. I stopped by to let you know, be careful how you share your dreams. Be careful who you share your dreams with. Because not everyone will be happy with your dream. So be careful how, where, when, and who you share your dream with. Number three, my dear brothers and sisters, doing the right thing will not make everybody happy with you. Not everybody will be happy if you keep doing the right thing. Genesis 37 and verse 2. You know, I grew up in the pastor's home. I'm a pastor's kid. A pastor's son. I have one of my junior sister, my little sister here in this uh, uh, audience. Uh, as we grew up, my dad was a staunch disciplinarian. And he would always want us to, to, to do things the seventh day Adventist way, the Bible way. And I had sisters and other folks in the house who will want to do things otherwise. I was always snitching on them. I was loved by my dad. But I was always explaining to my dad innocently. Not knowing I was reporting them. But I wasn't doing it with intention. One day, one Sabbath afternoon, uh, my dad would always want us to come from church, eat, rest, then go on visitation. As we went on this visitation on this Sabbath afternoon, then I got tempted to play football. On Sabbath afternoon, of course, we had already been taught you don't do that on the Sabbath. You witness, you evangelize, you do things that bring glory to God, not self-glorification. But I play football on that Sabbath afternoon. And some of my brothers, sisters who live in the house with me, they were surprised that I joined to play the football and... and uh, not knowing they had planned to harm me so that my dad would know that I play ball on the Sabbath. And one of them directly targeted the ball to my face and he hit that ball right on my face. Problem. One of my eyes got swollen and the blood set in my eyes. And for three weeks, I couldn't see with my left eye. But before that happened, I thought I could hide it from my dad. But not knowing, in the corner, my siblings will discuss among themselves that they will tell my dad. But they were waiting to see the effect of the eyes. The next morning... I couldn't hide it. And uh, it suffered me for three good weeks before my eye got clear. My dear friends, Joseph kept snitching on his brothers. He kept reporting them to the father. And the father and the brothers hated him. Even the more from the dream, they hated him. From the reporting, they hated him. My dear friends, not everything you do that is right, people will love it. If you are in the class and you report someone who is cheating in the exams, your classmates will turn against you. Mm -hmm. Are you with me, somebody? Yeah. Even as we are here, some of you are doing some things that are not correct. If somebody reports you, a group or gang of boys or girls turns against the one who has done the reporting. Am I right? Yeah. I grew up on the mission in the boarding school. We were good at it. You don't try to stitch or report people. We turn against you. 
we form an alliance against you. So let me remind you today, today that not every good thing you do will be cherished, healed, and appreciated by people around you. Sometimes you do thus say the Lord, but people hate you for it. Number four, my dear brothers and sisters, the first step toward fulfilling your dreams may not be what you expect. Genesis 37 and verse 24 and verse 28 and Genesis chapter 39 and verse 12 and chapter 40 and verse 23. Look at what happened in the case of Joseph. Look at what happened. Joseph has had a dream. He has been revealed, it has been revealed to him what the future will look like. How the father and the mother and the siblings will bow to him. You know the dream. And so it was like from that time he will continue to experience growth and success and growth and success and, 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 and privilege all along. But I stop by to let you know, the way you expect to receive your future success may not be the way the Lord chooses to let it come to you. Look at what happened to Joseph. He went to send food to his brothers. They ganked up against him. They put him in the pit. He was there for some minutes. I don't know if hours. They removed him. They sold him to the Ishmaelites. He went in his mind. I can imagine him thinking, I will see my dad no more. I'm going to see my mother no more. I will see my brothers no more. I will be in my home no more. He was sold as a slave to the Ishmaelites. My dear friends, it didn't stop there. The Bible tells us that the Ishmaelite sold him. Mr. and Mrs. Potiphar. He walked in their home for a little while. Then the devil wasn't happy. And a, a plan, a plan, a sin has been uh, put in place for him. And uh, Mrs. Potiphar was prepared to bring down the little boy. And she tried all she could. It didn't work. Joseph now found himself again lied upon. There will be people who will lie against you. But I come to let you know, once you follow the will and plan of the living God, even if they lied against you, the Lord will lift you up. He will set your feet on the higher ground. And he will help you to fulfill your dreams. Say amen, somebody. And Joseph, as he was lied on by Mrs. Potiphar, he found himself in the prison. He found himself in the prison. There in the prison again, he spent some time. He interpreted a dream for some of his inmates' mate. And uh, he was promised to be remembered by one of them. He wasn't remembered after a long period of time. But later, the Lord now began the process of the fulfillment of the dreams that Joseph had had several years ago. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord has dreams for you. The Lord has a bright future for you. The Lord has prepared the table before you, even in the presence of your enemies. All you and I need to do is make ourselves available that the Lord will use us, give us our dreams for the future. Lest you remember be careful how you are excited in sharing your dreams. Sometimes you may go through crucibles. There will be challenges and problems that will come our way. 
There will be situations that appears to us that the word is against us. There may be situations that come your way, man, dear pathfinders. As you go through your teenage, as you go through your secondary schools, as you go through the university, there may be challenges along the way. But I stop by to let you know that the dream the Lord has for you, if you stay with him, if you walk with him, if you pray with him, to him, if you talk with him, the Lord will make your dreams come to reality. The Lord is good. He never disappoints. He never fails. He keeps to his promises. He wants you to remember that he has a special prize for you. Let the Lord keep our dreams alive. Let the Lord keep us focused on our target. You know, let me end with this illustration, my dear brothers and my dear sisters. This man wanted to accomplish a task. But uh, he went to an old man for advice. And this old man told him, if you must accomplish your task in this current world, you must be focused. Because the world we live in today is full of distraction. There will be distraction from your parents. There may be distraction from your children. There may be distraction from your siblings. There may be distraction from your teachers, even from your pastors, from your elders, from the choir leaders. There may be distraction. Mm -hmm. There may be distraction from the youth leaders. Mm -hmm. There may be distraction from your peer groups. There may be distraction from your cliques. There may be distraction from your neighbors. But in all these distractions, be focused. Be direct. Let the destruction come, but as they come, let them make you strong. Let them have you even more focused in achieving your goal. Let the Lord bless you. Let the Lord make his face to shine upon you. Let the Lord be gracious unto you. That the dream that you have, the dream for your success, the dream for your tomorrow, the Lord will guide you through the process like Joseph. So shall it be with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Loving Father, I thank you for my dear friends. Bless them. Bless us. Help us, Lord, that we may discover our dream and that we will live to see our dream accomplished by your grace and by your power. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you.